Hi there, this is David from AppWorks, and today I'm going to show you another cool trick. Um, the cool trick today involves automatically switching between dark mode and light mode, or normal mode. If we're not familiar with dark mode, uh, it's on the Mac, I think it's probably on the PC as well, but on iOS and the iPad OS. Um, in fact, I should mention, as before I go into this too deeply, that this cool trick really only works effectively on the Mac or on uh, iOS uh, on iPhone or iPad. So anyways, the Macintosh has the ability to switch between dark mode and light mode and that's accessed through the system preferences and the, under the general tab and you've got light mode and dark mode. Dark mode switches the user interface to use a dark theme. So pretty straightforward. You can switch back and forth between light and dark. FileMaker 19 has, uh, has support for dark mode as well. And there's a new function in the FileMaker 19 functions list that uh, will actually detect if your Mac or your um, iPhone or iPad actually is in dark mode. And so then you can take some action using that. So right here we have uh, our more enlightened theme, which is a theme that we've designed as a replacement for the standard uh, default FileMaker theme, which is called Enlightened. Uh, so we actually designed this so that it would just swap in automatically for Enlightened. And we also designed a dark mode. So you can see there's dark mode and there's light mode, and it's just basically a, a theme. And what we can do is if uh, we go to a list view and we navigate back here, these are really simple controls. They just say go to layout, right? Um, and then what happens is if we switch to dark mode, we'd really like those to also be in dark mode, right? Well, I'm going to show you how that works. Now we're in dark mode, and I didn't even make any changes at all to the scripting or to the layouts. So the way that this works, and you'll notice when we switch back to light mode, of course, it now switches back to light mode as well. The way this trick works is basically we have two sets of layouts. Now, you may not really want to do this unless you're a design geek and the way that the interface looks is super important to you, which it is to me. Um, and you basically have two sets of layouts, a dark version and a light version of each. And they are named with uh, an appended uh, suffix of the word dark. So we've got more enlightened and more enlightened dark layout, and then we've got person list and person list dark layout. So basically, we use the naming to indicate which layout we should arrive at when we navigate. So you'll notice that these layouts, because of this little icon down here, they all have a trigger, uh, an on layout load trigger. If we go to script triggers, on layout enter, and it's check for dark mode. And they all do the same thing. That script uses the new function, get system appearance. And on iOS, the Mac OS, and iPad OS, uh, if you are in dark mode, the function returns the word dark aqua. If it's not in dark mode, it just returns the word aqua. So this script that's triggered every time you hit a layout basically just goes, is this in dark mode? Then go to the layout and you take the layout name that you're on and add dark. Uh, and basically, if you are on, if you're not in dark mode, then it gets the left hand words minus the word dark. You can see here, get left words of the layout name, and then count the words in the layout name and subtract one. So as long as you name it the same way each time, just by adding the word dark, this should work just fine. And that's all it does. It basically just changes the name of the layout that it should go to. So we can actually see this in action when we turn on script debugger. So let's go back into browse mode, turn on script debugger. And now when I, sorry, when I navigate here, you'll see it goes to layout person list. That's all it does. When we get to here, we're on person list. Are we in dark aqua mode? Nope. So we just basically stay on the layout that we're on. Layout is missing. Um, it doesn't matter because it's not named correctly. So if there's no name that looks like the, the one, then we're just gonna sit there on this one. And now if we switch to dark mode, you'll see what happens when I click on this. 
if get system appearance equals dark aqua oh go to layout get layout name which is more enlightened and add the word dark to it and now we went to the correct layout and that's the whole trick really so you can actually incorporate this kind of thing in uh, a navigation script so that it chooses the correct layout that's in dark mode or light mode uh, using that function and you can actually have your users have an experience that matches the way that they want to have their whole entire UI. Um, that's the extent of the entire trick. If you would like to download this more enlightened theme you can go to our website in the store it's free to download and you'll have these two themes to work with. You can change any of your standard enlightened themed layouts to our more enlightened theme or to a more enlightened dark mode. So I hope this has been useful. Pretty cool trick. And uh, let us know what you think in the comments. Thanks.